A New Jersey town is getting ready to say goodbye to one of the oldest living Americans. Here's Steve Hartman on the road. At the Basking Ridge Presbyterian Church in Basking Ridge, New Jersey, they don't need stained glass to make their windows breathtaking. It was built in 1717. Parishioner John Klippel says for the entire 300 year history of this church, one of the most magnificent oak trees known to man has been filling the panes here. The church was intentionally built beside the tree and the town grew up around the church. Everybody that's ever lived here has recognized that tree is sort of a symbol of home. George Washington walked past it. Some of his soldiers are buried under it. The tree predates America, Columbus, pretty much everything we know came after this 600 year old oak. But now our matriarch is fading. After decades of leaning on cables and crutches, experts say the oldest white oak tree in North America is on its last limbs. Local residents can't believe it. It just kind of feels like a part of the town is kind of dying with it. Yeah, no one thought about the tree dying. You know, it was one of those things that was going to go on forever. That's what a lot of people thought. It's always going to be here. But apparently it's not. For the folks of Basking Ridge, it is very much a grieving process. Loss or the anticipation of loss, I think it's traumatic. I think people have to go through their own steps of reconciliation with it. For centuries, the tree has been an ever-present metaphor for preachers at this pulpit. Whether the lesson was perseverance or patience, creation or resurrection, the tree helped teach it all. And soon will come its final lesson. Maybe a sermon about the cycle of life, or maybe they'll just take a minute to stare out the window one last time at the finest stained glass picture God ever created. Steve Hartman on the road in Basking Ridge, New Jersey. And that's the CBS Evening News for tonight. For all of us at CBS News all around the world, I'm Scott Pelley, and I'll see you Sunday on 60 Minutes. Good night.